Hi, I'm Josh, and this is a Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a problem involving Charles' Law. Charles' Law describes the relationship between the temperature and volume of a gas when the pressure is held constant. Using words, Charles' Law can be described like this. If the temperature of a gas increases, the volume of the gas will increase. Or we could say it the other way. If the temperature of a gas decreases, the volume of the gas will decrease. Using an equation, Charles' law can be described like this, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Basically, this is showing the relationship between two sets of conditions, the before conditions represented by the ones, and then after some change occurs, the conditions are represented by the twos. This equation has four variables, and for chemistry homework, you're usually gonna be given three of the variables, and then you'll solve for the fourth unknown variable. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. A gas has a volume of 31.1 liters at 12 degrees Celsius. What's the volume of the gas when the temperature increases to 42.1 degrees Celsius? Before I start to solve a question like this, I like to organize the information first. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says, what is the volume of the gas? I like to also write in the symbol from the equation so I keep track of everything. So V2 is going to be the volume when the condition changes. Next, I'm going to use green to highlight the given information. The starting conditions are given first. The gas starts with a volume of 31.1 liters. I'll label that V1, and the temperature is 12.0 degrees Celsius. So that's T1. Remember that the ones are the starting or the initial conditions. Then something changes. In this case, the temperature changes to 42.1 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to label that T2. I'm going to write the equation down now. V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. I need to do some rearranging because I want to solve for the unknown, which is V2. I need to get rid of the T2 on this side and get it over to the other side. So I'll multiply this side by T2 to cancel it. Whatever I do to this side, I need to do to the other side. So my equation will become V1 times T2 over T1 equals V2. Now I can plug in all the variables that I labeled in the question. V1 is 31.1 liters, T2 is 42.1 degrees Celsius, and T1 is 12.0 degrees Celsius. I'll plug all of this into my calculator, 31.1 times 42.1, and then I'll divide that by 12.0. I'm gonna round my answer to three digits because each of the given variables had three significant digits. And so my answer is 109. And the unit is liters because liters is the unit for volume. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.